welcome everyone to day 10 of Mental Health Month 2022. Today is World Mental Health Day. And the theme of this month is resilience, communities and connection. And I'm talking to this theme in this series of Resilience to Recovery. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tammy Horton. I'm a mental health educator and mentor, CEO and founder of Phoenix Initiative and have come by here. Today, I'm talking about the second of the resilience domains, which is composure. And in particular, we are talking about mindfulness today. Yesterday, I spoke about calm breathing and how we can consciously slow our breathing down, which helps to reset our fight flight response when it gets activated. And we did some box breathing in our session for then. Today, we're going to be learning another skill for composure, and that is of mindfulness. Now, mindfulness is being aware without judgment. Developing this can help you to focus, to calm your mind, to listen and connect better with people and to master your own mind. It can also help to reduce stress, to focus your attention, to reduce brain chatter, to boost your memory, to reduce emotional reactions, and it helps you to fall asleep faster. But sometimes our brain can feel like it's our own worst enemy. But by engaging in mindfulness exercises, we can learn to have an attitude of openness and acceptance. And from there, we can simply observe our thoughts and let them come and go without needing to follow them. So mindfulness activates areas of the smart brain called the lateral and the ventral prefrontal cortex, which are important areas for focusing attention and for controlling impulses. So our brain is made up of a whole bunch of neurons that link together. And the way that they connect determines your thoughts, your actions, and your decisions. But the great thing about these neural pathways is that we can teach them to be different. So there's three different types of mindfulness exercise. We have presence, affect, and perspective. So practicing the presence skill improves your attention. Practicing the affect skill develops your compassion and your empathy. The perspective skill increases your socio-cognitive ability, which is involved in perceiving, remembering, thinking about, and attending to other people in our social world. Focused awareness, body scanning, gratitude exercises, open monitoring, and mindful listening are all examples of mindfulness meditations. So why not try one out today? You know, a quick search on YouTube and you'll find an endless array of meditations that you can follow. But keep in mind that developing mindfulness takes time and practice. But as you do, you build strong patterns in your mind that drastically increase your composure. So tomorrow we're going to be looking at labeling emotions. So being able to accurately identify and label emotional responses give us the power to ask things like, how's my reaction affecting this situation? And what can I learn from this? But more on that tomorrow. So remember, until then, to always be a phoenix. Bye for now. Again, don't forget to subscribe to be notified when new videos come out and check out the ones that I prepared for you earlier.